Hello, this is the Pythonic Accountant. Welcome back to another lesson in regular expressions. In this one, we're gonna talk about find all and groups. So let's start by importing RE. And well, for find all, let's say we wanna find all the instances of things that look like emails in a sentence. So let's say uh, text equals emails to send R as follows, Bob at mail.com, press at whitehouse.gov, uh, mary at la la land dot far, and john at uh, usa dot mill, and then let's uh, say thanks again. Okay. Now we want to find all of the things that look like email. So let's do email re equals re.compile. And now for emails, you can include, emails can have, uh, you know, let's say lowercase, uppercase letters, numbers, uh, a whole bunch of other characters. So instead of trying to define all the things that could be in it, um, let's use the slash w. And we want one or more uh, W characters, word characters, followed by the at symbol, followed by one or more word, and then we want a period, and then one or more word again. So this might not be perfect in you know actual use in the real world, because I don't know if I captured everything correctly, but uh, for our purposes, hopefully this will work. And let's actually just test it out. MLRE dot uh, search hi at mail.com. And that looked like it worked, so that's good. Um, let's see if, what happens if we do find all. So email re dot find all text. And this should return a list of emails. And sure enough, it did. This is awesome. Okay. So um, let's say we want to do something with this, like emails equals this for email and emails, print sending email to email. And let's add the F at the beginning. So it's an F spring string. Of course, this isn't actually sending an email right now, but you could replace this code with, you know, code that does use, uh, you know, any kind of Python API for sending emails and it could do so. And there you go. Send an email to blah, 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 blah. So pretty cool. Um, let's see. So next we're going to talk about groups. So groups is fantastic. It's critical when you start getting into more complex regular expressions. There's a few different reasons why you might need to use groups. Um, only going to really focus on the ability to uh, grab things from groups afterwards rather than some of the other uh, functional uh, pattern matching uses of groups. But let's say we want to... Uh, let's say we have a, we can use the email example again, um, but let's say that we have a little more structure to our email text. So let's say new text equals email center as follows, Bob. Prez. So I'm thinking uh, Mary uh, Smith. So I'm putting like, you know, full, maybe full names. Miss Prez, Bob the Slob, uh, Mr. Johnny Boy. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit additional pattern matching here and grab the name and the email and our groups. So. Uh, let's see, emails re. And notice I'm differentiating email re from emails re. And I'm going to use a little trick here. This is uh, going to be kind of cool. I don't know if this is going to work, actually. Maybe I'll save it for next time. I think there's a way you can reference to a previously compiled regular expression pattern within a new one. Maybe, maybe uh, yeah, maybe I'll wait to do this one because I'm not exactly sure how to do it. So I'll just kind of re reuse this pattern here for the email portion of it. 
but in the next video maybe I'll show you how you can uh, reuse that pattern without having to retype in the actual pattern itself maybe use the name so we basically want to find the we we know that this is a has a, a dash with a space before and after it on each of the lines so email to aria goes aria.compile r and we want the ones where we've got kind of everything so here yeah, let's see everything up through uh, space dash space and then we'll do the email pattern so if you recall that's the email pattern captures you know letters numbers whatever actually let's change this up a little bit so like bob three um prez awesome mary mary john the bomb so I, I think those are valid emails but i'm not positive if the dashes are valid but we'll see and you know dots are supposed to be valid too so let's just see what happens here um so i'm just going to test to make sure that i'm still capturing what i should be and i'm going to do a find all first before i do any groupings so let's do emails are you know, find all new text and that's good okay so we did indeed capture all four of the rows that we wanted and we would know we didn't if we did something like you know let's say we just had these two let's see uh, emails or you to find all and I'm gonna separate it just with a semicolon here and what we're going to do is we're going to add something that is illegal in an email. We're going to add a space here. So obviously that, that's not a real email and that shouldn't work. And so this should return, uh, uh, this actually shouldn't return anything for the first one because it doesn't match our pattern. It's got this extra word that is after the dash, but before you get to the email pattern. So we should only get the Mr. Johnny Boy response. So let's see if that works. Oh, and we didn't get anything back here interesting so we have probably another problem we have to deal with that i'm just gonna not worry about right now <laughs> but yeah so our, our pattern basically is not perfect but it definitely doesn't work here so uh certainly a problem so what we're gonna do is um and, and it probably has something to do with it's it's matching some of the beginning of it and then it sees that dash in the space and doesn't match here. And it, it, I, don't, I don't know that it's gonna restart looking there. So that's probably the problem. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna show how you can use the groupings. So emails are a with groups. And we want to capture everything before, let's give me an extra comma, everything uh, before we get to the space and the dash in space. And then everything from uh, the email piece. So the parentheses is what defines the groups. And let's go ahead and say response equals. Uh, and we're not going to do find all here. We're going to do search. Emails re.search. And what this probably is going to give us is just the first uh, response. So we may have to do something else like iterate through the lines. But let's go ahead and see what we find. Let's go ahead and just look at the full response. And yeah, sure enough, so it's just giving us the first one. So that's okay, I'll show you how to deal with that in a second. So we're getting uh, the, f the full match, but now when we can do, I think there's a couple ways we can do it. If you do bracket zero, you get the full answer. If you do one, now we're getting what's in the first group. So just Bob the slob, so that's like name. If we do two, we should just get the email. And so here's a cool trick you can do name email equals uh, response one response two name print email so that's pretty cool um, so here this is this is going to be fun so what we're going to do is for line in uh, new text dot split we're going to split it by the new line character. And so what this is going to do is for each line, it's going to iterate through that line. And then it's going to say, 
um, response equals emails re.search new text if response meaning if it finds the uh, you know match that we're looking for then do the following if not then there's nothing so now we're going to steal this again and we just did resp and then it's going to say print f name name email email and just for fun let's add a little Asterisk times 15. So it just adds a little space in between them. Let's see what happens. Boom. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not what we wanted. So let's see for line and new tech. Oh, yeah. I didn't do that right. This response equals. Okay, I'm not searching the line. So let's try it one more time. There we go, perfect. So we got the Bob the Slob, Bob at Mail, Miss Prez, Prez at White House, Mary Smith, Mary at La La Land, and Mr. Johnny Boy, John at USA. So there you have it, some really basic use of uh, both the Find All and the Groups, which are two of my most commonly used and incredibly powerful uh, tools to use within regular expressions. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please click like and subscribe to see more of the uh, regex videos and my other Pythonic accounting videos. And uh, hopefully we'll see you at the next one. Thank you.